Hey, what's up guys? So we have something pretty cool to share with you guys. Hawketh has found out a really cool loop with Cypher the Sky Dragon and Zombies. And it's actually using one of the newer zombie cards, uh, the Vendred Revenants, to actually be able to keep on summoning itself over and over. So anyways, the key card here guys is give and take. You're going to be special summoning one monster from your graveyard uh, to your opponent's side of the field and then you uh, increase the level of one monster you control by the level of the special monster until the end phase. Now, you can actually do a lot of different uh, crazy plays with this. Um, I actually was thinking about doing something with the calculator over here uh, because you get a calculator up to a lot of attack. But uh, anyways, so let me go and explain loop as it's happening right now. This is something that would be like from the anime over here. Now, the tower isn't falling down trapping like Mammoth Grave like they did in the anime, but uh, the soul absorbing bone tower is actually going to make it so each time a zombie type monster is special summoned, you make it so your opponent sends the top two of your opponent's uh, deck to the graveyard. So basically, you're going to be activating that effect over and over. Because you give your opponent Cypher the Sky Dragon, they actually have Cypher the Sky Dragon's effect, which is that um, every time a monster is summoned, it actually loses 2000 attack, and if it becomes zero, it destroys it. The Vendred Revenants has an effect where every time it's destroyed by an opponent's card, by Battle Bar card effect, you can special summon it, but it gets banished when it leaves the field. So you can keep on getting that effect over and over. But since you have Imperial Iron Wall, it will not actually be banished because Cypher the Sky Dragon is destroying it over and over. Uh, but the thing is that it keeps on coming back over and over. And every time it comes back, Soul Absorbing Bone Tower is going to shave cards from your opponent's deck to the graveyard. So basically, you're going to be decking out your opponent. That is the loop over here. And it does doesn't really matter uh, how many cards your opponent has, which is actually uh, pretty cool uh, that you can infinitely loop this. And as you guys will see, uh, it's his turn and he can't draw cards, so it, <laughs> it makes him lose. It was kind of a cheesy troll deck, but I thought it was really cool to see a loop with Cypher the Sky Dragon and Zombies. It's been a while since I've seen some really crazy and innovative stuff, and obviously this will work with Link Format. So any of you guys that want to uh, run it, here is the build for any of you guys that want to be trolls and uh, try it out, have some fun. Again, this is not really necessarily a competitive deck, it's just more for people that like to see interesting interactions. And as you guys know, I really like seeing interesting things in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, so this is just something I have not seen before, and it's using a new card. So anyways, we have one copy of Cypher the Sky Dragon, three copies of Vendred Revenants, three copies of Zombie Master, two copies of Gazuki over here, then we have uh, two copies of Mizuki, two copies of Zombina, so a lot of things with zombies is just trying to get your extra cards out on the field. But anyways, we got triple pyramid turtle, triple copies of goblin zombie, and then we have three copies of soul absorbing bone tower, three allure of darkness, which really helps out. And then we have shuffle reborn, and this makes so if you have no monsters, you can just get out a monster real easy. Then we have one one day at peace, one upstar goblin, one foolish burial, one into the void, three supply squad, three give and take, and three imperial iron wall. So the key cards, guys, to actually pull this off is to have this card in the graveyard. Then you have to have, well, I mean, a lot of the zombie cards can technically be crashed. So you can do this in main phase too. Uh, but th this combo, some people will be like, wow, it's like a four card combo. But it's a lot easier to pull off because the, the other monster is kind of like, it's really easy to get to if you guys get what I'm saying. Simply because the zombies search out and they can special summon into another zombie. Uh, but pretty much you just need to have soul absorbing bone tower and uh, whatever card to really get the other uh, Vendred in the graveyard. Uh, and that's pretty easy because everything just lets you, you know, add the card or technically with this card. Card, you can actually spot some another zombie so it's a lot easier to pull off obviously be careful uh, with imperial iron wall because you don't want to lock yourself out with uh, mizuki being there i think we can actually make this deck like more viable like obviously you can play cards in the extra deck to try to exceed and kind of play just like a zombie uh deck over here and you could just maybe do it as a spicy tech uh, i know with plugs per zombie iron wall can be pretty nasty but uh the thing is is that uh, you still have to put one card at the top of your deck but i don't know you guys can let me know what you think about it if you guys have any other suggestions for the deck let me know but it's mostly just a troll and a fun deck but anyways hawketh that was pretty cool thanks for sharing it with us but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a cypher the sky dragon zombie otk loop but uh if you enjoyed it drop a like on it if you're new just to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more crazy OTK and crazy Yu-Gi-Oh! combo videos.